welcome back aboard guys. In this video I'm going to show you the steps I took to get a template made for the front bow cushions on my 2006 341 Meridian Sport Bridge. The boat didn't originally come with any bow cushions but the Admiral has been hinting that she would like to have cushions to sit on when she's taking the sun on the front of the boat. I thought this project would be perfect to do in the winter. As you can see, the boat is only shrink-wrapped for the winter. But there's enough room up on the bow that I could do this work and try to figure out how to make a template that I could bring to a upholstery shop and get the custom cushions made for the boat. I wanted to make an accurate template out of cardboard. However, I found using just the cardboard first and trying to find the exact places to cut it would be difficult when it's sitting on the bow. So I opted to start with some plastic painting tarps that were pretty much see-through and easy to trace on with a sharpie to get the best and most accurate measurements for my cardboard template. I laid out the plastic sheet as flat as I can where I wanted to draw the template. I then secured the edges of the plastic with paper tape. Using a black sharpie marker I traced along the edges where I wanted the cushion to sit on the bow. It's relatively easy to trace out as there's a recession in the gel coat where the cushion would be sitting. The tricky part was towards where the headrest area would be. I was unsure how far up the cushion should go before it gets to the window. So I sort of just traced it by eye to get a general idea and then I'll double check it with the cardboard once that's cut. As I was looking at it, I wasn't happy with the original trace, so I extended it. I also traced a dotted line where I thought the cushion would bend up towards the windshield for the headrest. I spaced out some dots where I guesstimated where snaps would go for the cushion. I laid down on my design just to see how it lays out. It's not a whole lot of room up there on the bow, but we'll see how it goes. I trimmed the excess plastic away from the template with a razor blade in preparation of taking it home to work on the cardboard cutout. First I wanted to flip it over to make sure that the mirror image on the other side of the bow was the exact same fit. And sure enough, once I laid it out, it was identical to the port side, which is what I expected. Time to take my drawing home. I found a large cardboard box that I was able to cut along lengthwise and stretch it out and it was the perfect size for this plastic template. I once again taped all the edges of the plastic and lined up the box ends with the ends of the cushion. I then used a razor knife to cut along the black lines I drew just to score the cardboard a little bit so I could see it underneath. I wasn't trying to cut through all the cardboard at this step. I carefully took a sharpie marker again and drew along that light score line that I created with the razor blade and the plastic template. Once that was done, I took out my razor knife again and scored the cardboard deeper, trying not to cut into the carpet underneath. Once the cardboard was fully scored, it was easier to bend it on the edges and cut all the way through with the razor knife. I cleaned up any of the rough edges and then laid it out with the plastic template again just to double check it. Measure twice, cut once. The last step was marking the cardboard where the headrest would be. It 
it was looking all pretty good. I was quite pleased with the results so far. And now it was time for the true test. Motivation to get a little slimmer, I guess. I guess it'll be good enough. So the next step is to bring it back down to the boat to double check my cardboard cutout and make any final adjustments. So we brought the cardboard cutout back down to the boat the following weekend, another cold wintry day in upstate New York. It really came in handy that I cut this template out from a long cardboard box. It made it very easy to bend on the seams and get it through the hatch. I laid the cardboard template back on the bow and then marked it in places where it needed additional trimming. I wanted to leave a little bit of a gap between the edge of the cushion and where it would sit in the fiberglass recess. So I took it back down into the salon and I carefully trimmed away that excess edge. When I was satisfied with that, it was back up on the bow for its final test fit. It was looking pretty good. It had a nice quarter inch gap between the template and the recess in the fiberglass. The last thing I wanted was the cushion to be larger than this recess. If that happened, it wouldn't sit correctly. Next up, bringing it to the upholstery shop. This local upholstery shop had done some cushion work on some prior boats I had, so I figured they would do a good job with this one also. The shop accepted the template, so I picked out the fabric I wanted, and we decided on some fasteners. It would take at least a month or so to get this finished, at a quote of about $1,200. I'll see you back when that work is finished. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave comments in the comment section.